Hey there, Eric here. Uh, I'm in Wyoming today. Uh, obviously, you can see we took a camper to Wyoming. Uh, we filmed an elopement on Monday of this past week in Michigan. We've been driving the past two days. We landed in Wyoming for a little bit. Tonight, we're gonna roam around with my Leica M6, shoot some Portra 400. I have about six rolls left on this. Another one in my back pocket. Uh, there's a cool little downtown, small town over here that I'd like to photograph this evening. If you have seen any of the videos I've made with my Leica M6. It seems to be that every time I make a video with this dang camera, something goes wrong. But hopefully nothing goes wrong tonight. Um, it's just gonna be really chill and low key. And I hope you enjoy it. that scene. Are you looking at it? done. Shot like 25 frames on, on that roll earlier. Gonna load another roll of Portra 400 in it. So same exact one. Portra 400 is my go-to always. I think it's a lot of people's go-to. Insane latitude on this film. My friend uh, Benj did a video about Portra 400 and its flexibility. A lot of people are really afraid to shoot film because they're like, oh, what if I mess it up? Blah, blah. But if you shoot Portra 400, it's it's like almost impossible to mess it up if you have someone who knows what they're doing when they're scanning it. I'm gonna load in a new roll of Portra 4. This camera's been really finicky, so what I like to do is make sure that the film is up above the bottom silver bar. Advance it once to see that the teeth grab it and bring it over, and that's when I like to, to close it. Um, put the bottom plate back on. and then burn two frames. And then I'm all set at zero. We were standing in the freezing rain. Honey, how could I forget? In the distance were the warning bells. juxtaposition of colors too like I got uh, red blue green there's light hitting the buildings over there there's light hitting the stop sign Ford's in the shadow the trees in the building are lit I 
got back to the house, my landlord cut the vines. I hold my keys too tightly in my pocket. I walk into the room, you're sleeping and it's quiet. A lot of times when uh, you see a scene and you see someone walking into the scene you want, uh, I kind of just frame up my shot before they walk into it, get my exposure, uh, my, my focus, right, all those settings, and then I just wait until they walk into the scene, frame it up, and just hit the shutter. Um, it's a really easy way to get it exactly how you want it um, without feeling intrusive of you know, them feeling weird about you like following them into a store. Sleeping in the hospital and walking in the courtyard. I cut a beach and place the pieces on the counter. Think about the nature of belonging To some larger home That's largely undefined now I look for it for hours while I go walking I want to feel your face Thank you for watching that video guys. Uh, if you enjoyed that, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more uh, film photography like that. I would love to do some more, so yeah. Hey, editing Eric here, shooting on my iPhone. Uh, I figured I would cover a few logistical things before this video wraps up. I, I shot all those photos on my Leica M6 35 millimeter film camera, which has a range finder. Uh, it's different than some other film cameras out there. I bought this about three years ago for I think $1,200 and I've seen them go for as high as like $2,500 now. So I'm really happy that I bought it at that time. It's built like a tank. Leica is an incredible brand. I'm very happy to have this and I'm really excited to keep it in my family for generations to come pass along to my kids. I also bought the Voigtlander 35mm f1.4 uh, Mark II for this trip. Uh, and moving forward with this, I had a 35mm f2 lens on this before, and I just wanted that extra stop um, with the aperture. And I'm really loving how dreamy it is uh, wide open and how sharp it is um, stop down. But I am noticing some vignetting on the corners, and I don't know if that's just the lens or from the scans. But that leads me to my next point in that um, I sent off these scans to the place I normally send them and I was actually kind of disappointed with how they looked at first. Um, I was noticing that like highlights were pretty hot if not blown out. And so I brought a lot of these scans, all of them, into Lightroom and manipulated them to my liking. So I was a bit more excited and inspired to share these photos with you because I was kind of upset when I first saw them knowing in, that the dynamic range was there but wasn't really scanned to be there. That was a little frustrating, but I was still really happy with the final result after I edited them. Uh, but yeah, if Benj or Matt Day, if you're watching this, maybe you can speak to some of that or shoot me a DM about what's going on there. Now, one critical mistake I made on this video is I took the roll of film out of the camera at the end and closed it up. And I should have done that when we got back to the trailer because the next day I just assumed that there was a roll of film in the camera after you know packing up all our gear and all the stuff that we had. And I shot what I thought was a whole roll of film in Montana the next night and there wasn't. I'm pretty sure there's no film in the camera. and it was one of the saddest evenings of my life.
But I wanna be as transparent as possible as I always am with you guys on this channel that I make mistakes and I still don't know everything about the mediums I choose to make art and that's okay. And film photography can have this stigma of you need to know everything and there's these trolls online that do know everything and they intimidate you into not wanting to try it and I just wanna be here to tell you that you can try it and it can be fulfilling and it can be so much fun. I was stuck in such a creative rut the past four months and this trip out west and specifically this night when we shot these photos was an incredible turning point in me being able to find some creativity again. So don't let that stuff intimidate you. Don't be afraid to try a new thing and yeah, just go after it. Hopefully this inspired you to pick up a film camera or start doing another medium, whether it's photography, filmmaking, any other kind of art that just inspires you to go out and make something. Again, uh, as I said earlier in this video, if you like it, it really helps with my channel and the algorithm and pushing this video to more people who don't know about what I do. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe for more content about photography and filmmaking. As always, lean into what makes you different. Love you guys. See you soon.